Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our Math 7 screencast series. Today, we are going to be doing Lesson 2 of Unit 4. We're going to be looking at complex fractions and how they apply to unit rates. So last lesson, we talked about unit rates or rates. How do you find a rate between two things? You take the first unit divided by the second unit. Just make sure you have the units lined up right. So if we're talking about Dana here, this is kind of referencing last. You take her time divided by how many laps. All right. So um, in this case, right. So she did 40 seconds for one lap. Um, and you get 40 seconds per lap. Right. Um, but anyway, that's not really what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about complex fractions. So what's a complex fraction? Um, when you have one or more fractions inside of sorry, two or more fractions inside of a fraction. So in this case, you have 20 over one half. Normally we don't have fractions inside of fractions, but it's okay because remember all fractions are our division problems. So what we can do is you take that fraction and make it into a division problem. So this is 20 over one half. So it'd be 20 divided by one half. And now that we can use calculators, all you have to do is type in 20 divided by a half. Um, you can do the keep change flip thing if you don't have a calculator or if you have a calculator that uh, doesn't have fractions. Here, this is a quarter divided by two. So you're just typing in a quarter divided by two. Okay. If you have um, a calculator that doesn't have the fraction, you keep change flip. So it would be a quarter times a half. All right. So let's look at a couple examples here. This And sometimes it's hard to see if it's a whole number or not. So the whole number is usually a little bit bigger, right? You can tell that that's a fraction and then that's a bar is a little bit bigger. So this says two divided by two thirds. All right. Uh, I don't have a uh, calculator with a fraction bar with me. I just have my cell phone here. Um, so I'm going to keep change flip. If you remember, you can cancel these. Actually, we didn't do that in math seven yet. We will do that later. So this is three on top, one on bottom, and you get three. Down here, this is two thirds divided by seven. So you're going to keep change flip. So you get two over 21. Whoops, I'm writing in the wrong spot. Two over 21. Okay, we have the whole number on top divided by I always write the fractions out first before I keep change flip. Keep the first fraction, change to multiplication, flip the second fraction. Now this is easy because the bottoms are ones. So six times three is 18. I'm gonna cross this off, 18. I like when they come out as whole numbers so it's a little easier to write there in the end. Need a little coffee to keep me going. Gotta keep these fractions going. Two fourths divided by Two. So this one's a little harder to see. That bar is a little bit small, but you can tell that two fourths is a fraction. So in this case, it's two fourths times one half, and you get two over eight. Now two over eight it reduces to one quarter. Do that in my head. When you get these in the real world, right? Real world is very rarely whole numbers. Okay. Um, you never run in an hour, right? Usually it's less than an hour, more than an hour to finish a race or uh, a jog. Um, or like if you finish a project, she's in here, Tia's painting her house. It took her three quarters of an hour. It didn't take her exactly an hour. So in this case, Mr. Ito is spreading mulch in his yard. He spreads four and two thirds square yards in two hours. How many square yards can he spread per hour? So we're gonna take how much he spread we're going to make it a fraction first. Um, four times three is 12 plus two is 14. Divided by how long did it take? Two. We're going to keep change flip and you get 14 over six. Now that's kind of confusing looking. Let's reduce it. Seven over three. So it took him two and one third hours. Don't forget to use your labels. And if you have any questions, 